2024 Toyota Grand Highlander Platinum. This week we are taking a look at an all-new SUV from Toyota, the 2024 Grand Highlander. The regular Highlander is one of the best-selling SUVs in America, but Toyota needed something bigger, but not as big as the Sequoia, so the Grand Highlander was born. Some think it is just a blown-up version of the Highlander, but the reality is that the two SUVs only have a suspension system in common. Exterior The Grand Highlander is longer, wider, and taller than the regular one, and the real plus is the additional room in the third row and the cargo area. The exterior is very attractive, and you'll notice lots of glass around for great visibility, and the 20 wheels look terrific, especially with the coastal cream paint. Powertrain under the hood is a 2.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder that is putting out 265 horses and 310 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to an 8-speed automatic, and my tester is all-wheel drive. FYI, it also comes in a hybrid, and the Hybrid Max, which I have loved in the Crown, the Tundra, and the Sequoia. The Hybrid Max is more about horsepower than fuel economy. Interior this is the top of the line platinum trim, so the interior is super nice with leather heated and cooled power seats on both sides. The seats are comfortable and slightly bolstered. Stitching can be found all through the front area, across the dash, around the steering wheel, and on the center console. As you hit the start button, a 12.3 color gauge cluster comes to life that you can configure from the power tilt and heated steering wheel. There is a head-up display that is easy to read and see. Center dash is another 12.3 screen for your infotainment systems. The multimedia touch screen houses the audio, navigation system, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, settings, the Bluetooth for your phone, and a terrific 360-degree camera. The center console has your gear shifter, a couple of cup holders, the auto hold button, you can turn off the start slash stop system, and a dial to choose your drive and terrain modes. You also get a cell phone charger. The second row captain chairs slide and recline, and in a nice touch, they are heated and ventilated, something typically only found in more expensive luxury SUVs. Second row passengers get their own climate control, A slash C vents, USB CS, power outlet and pull down shades for the side windows. The third row will be very comfortable for two adults, there are more USB CS, and the third row seats recline for more comfort. The reclining feature is huge for adults to give more room. Utility There is a power lift gate to access the large cargo area which offers 21.7 cubic feet with the third row in place, and all seats down gives you a whopping 97 cubic feet. Standard Equipment this platinum trim comes loaded with a panoramic moon roof, a digital rear view mirror, LED lighting all around, an 11 speaker JBL sound system, 7 total USB C ports, and 13 cup holders. Safety It has Toyota Safety Sense 3.0, which gives you pre collision intervention and pedestrian detection, adaptive cruise control, lane departure alert with steering assist, blind spot warning and safe exit assist. It has the self-driving technology, but it will yell at you if you are not paying attention to the road. Fuel economy. What you'll pay. This is a pre-production model so I don't have a window sticker, but Toyota estimates MSRP to be $54,880.